Yo, how's your butt? Boop. Why does everyone love to hate on Bungie and Destiny 2 in particular? Why everywhere you go, Twitter, Reddit, YouTube, hell, it probably even Imager Post, everybody hates on Destiny 2. But with a game that gets almost 1 million players concurrently every single day, why is there so much hate for this game? Today we're going to explore this. And this actually goes way back before Destiny 2 was even created, all the way back to the Halo days with Bungie. So Halo was actually a massive success, and this was a game that was developed by Bungie and released in 2001, alongside of the release with the original Xbox console. So if you guys don't remember, Halo was an awesome game that everyone seriously loved. Like, I remember growing up playing Halo, doing LAN parties, all the way up until even Reach. So why do people not like Bungie because of Halo? Well, Bungie actually left developing Halo after Halo 3. Now they did have a hand in making Halo 4 and Reach, but that was actually turned over to 343 Studios. So a lot of people were mad at Halo because the games weren't quite the same as they were with Combat Evolved and 2 and 3. Everybody loved these games. This was a big part of people's childhoods. And if you were like me, it was actually a lot of people's first FPS game. After leaving Microsoft and the Halo franchise in 2009, Bungie would begin developing what would eventually become Destiny. In 2010, Bungie signed a 10-year, $100 million contract with Activision. Now, this left a sour taste in some people's mouth because they thought that Bungie was a small studio. They liked supporting an independent LLC, and this took them away from it. Alongside of the massive amount of money they got, $100 million over 10 years. So... What else did people not like about this? Well, this formed so much hype around Destiny. So Bungie originally had Halo that was a massive success. People were mad that they left Halo because it was no longer being developed by Bungie, the people who created it. Destiny 1 was released in 2014 under massive hype from Bungie and the first release with the partnership between Bungie and Activision. Now, this received massive hype, but it really didn't live up to the expectations that it had built up with the huge $100 million contract. So people kind of had a little bit of a dry taste in their mouth, because Destiny really didn't pick up until the Taken King expansion a year later, but some people had already written off Bungie and Destiny altogether. While Destiny 1 did have some massive success, there was always the haters, there was always the leftover haters that did not enjoy what Bungie had done with Halo. They did not enjoy them going to Activision. So Destiny was a pretty successful game for a few years, but then they decided they were going to change the franchise and move on to Destiny 2, which had its own issues. So there was, once again, massive hype in 2017 for the release of Destiny 2. And upon release, Initially, it received some great reviews, people really loved it, but then about a month into the game, people realized there wasn't anything there. Destiny 2 had released and it had flopped, especially coming out with its first expansion, Curse of Osiris, that absolutely probably is one of the worst expansions ever released in any FPS game. Not to mention during this time, so Destiny 1 had been considered a pretty fun PvP game. People really enjoyed playing PvP and the PvP aspects of it. PvP and Rage are the two big things that were really enticing for Destiny 1. Both of those things were terrible. People did not like the first initial two raids released in Destiny 2. They had changed the loot system. They had changed the way the weapons worked in Destiny 2. And people did not respond to it well. It didn't help that around this time, there was a game that came out that everybody loved. And yes, I'm talking about Fortnite. Fortnite came out just the year prior to that, but it didn't take off until the end of 2017. So just thus further hurting Destiny 2's initial release. A lot like Destiny 2's predecessor, Destiny 1, it didn't really pick up and have momentum until its first expansion with Forsaken. And that's whenever Destiny 2 kind of rebuilt itself Bungie also delivered on lots of things. They over-delivered on much of the things. They had one of the greatest raids ever. The Dreaming City was a, a great expansive area that people could have. There's so many secrets. It finally is what was promised and what was delivered with Destiny. This still didn't stop people from hating it because they had so many times that they had had their expectations so high and that were not delivered. With them leaving Halo, 
with the high expectations with Activision, with the high expectations and hype with Destiny 1 and the initial failure, and then the initial failure of Destiny 2. This is why we see so many people hating on Destiny 2, even though the 1 million players that play it every day would probably say this is a great game and obviously maybe better than Destiny 1 and maybe better than even the Halo franchise. So this brings me on to like the, the actual reason why people don't like it. There's all of these things, but there's, there's something else. Why do people love to see it fail? There's so many people that haven't played Destiny to know whether it's good or not. They have no first-hand experience. Or maybe they did, and they got left with a sour taste in their mouth. So, in marketing, there's something called buyer's remorse. And there's, there's a lot of things that, that companies use to stop buyer's remorse. Like, you say you buy a very expensive vehicle. The ads you see on TV aren't for getting people to purchase those vehicles. They're getting to relieve the buyer's remorse that some people have from spending all that money on those vehicles. So there's something kind of the opposite of that with Destiny. People love to see it fail because they love to know that they made the right decision in not playing it, and not spending money, and in not wasting time. Well guys, thanks for watching the video. If you have any discussion, please leave them down. So what do you think? Is this why people hate Destiny? Why do you not like Destiny? Do you not like Bungie? Do you wish they would go back to games like Halo? Do you wish that they just would have never released Destiny 2 at all? Sound off. Let me know what you think down below. Guys, and thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe. I have daily vids every single day, and I'll catch you next time, and keep your butts safe.